Greetings to all. In this video, we will derive the Pythagorean Theorem. This theorem is named after the Greek philosopher Pythagoras, born around 570 BC. Pythagorean Theorem states that in a right triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse C is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the legs A and B. In symbol, that is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Consider this big square and these four congruent right triangles. Each of these triangles has the legs A and B and hypotenuse C. We have A, B, and the hypotenuse C. Let us arrange these triangles inside the big square. Our goal here is to determine the area of the four triangles inside this big box or big square. Interestingly, this area is also equal to the area of the big square minus the area of the small square. Let us recall that the area of the right triangle is half of AB. Since there are four of them, one, two, three, and four, the total area of the four right triangles is 4 times 1 half AB. Which is equal to 2 AB. On the other hand, the area of the big square is the square of A plus B. Since this is A and B as legs of the triangle and the length of this side of the big square is just the sum of A and B. That's why we have the square of A plus B. While the small square has an area of C squared because this is C. With this, we can say that the area of the four triangles is also equal to the square of A plus B minus C squared. Again, the 2AB is the area of the four right triangles. The square of A plus B is the area of the big square. And C squared is the area of the small square. Note that the square of A plus B is A squared plus B squared plus 2AB. It follows then that 2AB is equal to A squared plus B squared plus 2AB minus C squared, wherein our A squared plus B squared plus 2AB is the area of the big square, and C squared, once again, is our area of the small square. By applying the subtraction property of equality, 
we have 0 equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared. In this case, we subtract 2ab on both sides of the equation. By addition property of equality, we add c squared on both sides of the equation, resulting to c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared plus c squared. And again, minus c squared plus c squared is just zero. So this can be further simplified as c squared equals a squared plus b squared, which is our Pythagorean theorem. So again, our Pythagorean theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So we finally derived the Pythagorean theorem. I hope you had a great day learning with me today. See you next time.